Hey Cancer, how are you doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is MJ, welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot. Um, Cancer, this is your mid-month check-in and let's get straight to it. Um, I will try to keep it as short as possible. I'm rarely successful in, in having those readings short, but I'll try. Um, and we will be looking at your overall energy and then we will focus on what is it that you may need to release uh, to keep me moving forward even smoother and how you can best release it okay so let's see what do we have for you cancer for mid june 2022 let's see what is your overall energy or the overall energy surrounding you your situation your life at this time nice so we have the magician this is major arcana number one um so numerologically looking at it a number one is always a number of a new beginning a number of initiation it's a number of motivation being inspired um and also a number of leadership self-leadership being a self-starter um self-authority uh, starting something taking that leadership to create something so i really like this the magician says that you realize that you have everything you need um, to create whatever it is that you desire. And for some reason, I feel um, that perhaps something happened in June that makes you feel complete. Okay, this is not um, particularly the meaning of the magician card, but I do feel this for you, that something makes you feel complete. And this can be, uh, and it will be different for everyone. It may relate to any area of your life, maybe job-related, family, love creativity okay take it as it resonates for you but there's something about feeling complete um and it, it's also to some extent related to realizing that you have all the resources you need to create the life the reality that that you desire okay so the magician is all about seizing your magic right realizing that life is as magical as you make it um and that you have all those tools of magic the magician is not about creating something out of nothing but he works with what he has to shift his existing um circumstances to create the reality that he desires so it's not about pulling a rabbit out of the hut right it's about working with what you have to create what you desire um, and, and that's why there's this element of seizing your own magic and it's about not being afraid. It's about taking risk to a certain extent and not being afraid to experiment, try new things because we learn through this uh, and learning on the job, like putting your skills um, in practice is the best way to learn. So I really like this. I really feel you're motivated. The sense of feeling complete is very strong. You're working on something. Um, a lot of you are inspired. You have ideas, again, related to whatever area of life. But I feel your hands are full and whatever you're working on or whatever you're primarily engaged in at this time is making you happy and it makes you feel fulfilled. Okay. And I just saw three minutes, 33 seconds on the recording. So if you're drawn to numbers, there may be an additional message for you under 333. Okay. Uh, so let's see, what is it that you may need to release at this time to keep moving forward even smoother? Okay, let's see, what is it that you may need to release at this time? And I kept seeing the devil card when I was shuffling the decks um, previously. So that's why I was inspired to focus those readings on releasing. And you have um, the Four of Swords. And another major arcana, which is um, the fortitude in this deck, but this is strength card. Okay, so four of swords and the strength card. When I look at those cards from the perspective of what you need to release, let's focus on, on the fortitude card first, because it's a major arcana. This card is, is about taming our inner beast. Okay, so you can see this lion here. This inner beast represents the inner fire that drives us. Um, everything that you associate with fire, being on fire, our desires, ambitions, our instincts, okay? But it's very important that we remember at all times that we need to and we are in control of this. Because when this takes control, 
we may become too hasty, uh, too aggressive in trying to accomplish things, for example, we may be too impatient, okay? Um, we may be too bossy if it's related to work. We may uh, abuse our authority, okay, in whatever situation of our life. So, um, whichever of those meanings applies to you, and if it resonates, you know what that is for you. I primarily see the need to, to release control, okay? Uh, you will not be able to control everything that is happening at this time, whether it's work, whether it's family-related. Certain things need to happen and unfold in their own way. And while your part in the process is to be engaged, do your thing, work on your goals, um, you need to also allow destiny to do its part. You cannot control every outcome. Okay, Sometimes, or even at all times, we need to be able to adjust, be flexible, um, adjust our direction, for example. There is a need to release control, okay? You cannot try and control everything that may make you be bossy or trying to overuse your authority. I hope that makes sense. For some of you, this is related to your health. Strength card may uh, symbolize your health. There may be a need for rest. So when it comes to release, um, be mindful of not overworking yourself, whatever you're working on with the magician card, because you have the three, uh, I'm sorry, four of swords. And this is this card of going into deep rest mode but you can see that rest mode in this case is presented as a person lying in the coffin it's not about representing death it just means that the tiredness whatever happened here is so deep that it's almost like death it's about going into really deep sleep meditative state deep rest to allow yourself to realign yourself strategize plan what's next etc okay so you need to be mindful about managing your resources well and wisely and with focus on your physical resources as well so that you don't overwork yourself and then you may need to withdraw from whatever you're working on um, and really go into depressed. But if you manage your resources wisely as you go, uh, you will be able to continue working uh, on whatever the magician um, symbolizes for you, okay? I hope that makes sense. So let's see how you can, how you can um, best release or what can be of best support in releasing this, um, maybe this need to control, but also this overworking yourself, over engagement. How can you best release this? What can be of best support to help you release this and just go with the flow you have three cards but let's let's take a look at them okay you have the lovers card you have the ace of swords nice another number one just like the magician and you have the six of swords i really like this um, and you have two times number six because the lovers is number six as well you have three major arcanas on the table this is very interesting that in this particular deck, um, the author of this deck created, I think, four lovers cards. Um, and it's up to whoever uses the deck. If they want to choose one uh, or two or whatever, I decided to leave um, four of them in the deck. Um, and the lovers card that you get is actually a same sex card. Okay, But... Um, None of the cards in tarot are really gender specific. To me, it, it really symbolizes the energy. And in this case, we have two masculine energies. And masculine energy uh, in tarot and, and in the symbolism is about taking action, being the leader. Okay, so it's um, it's kind of similar to this energy of the magician. Okay, and the lover's card is all about making choices making choices from the place of love it's also a card of maturity it symbolizes the time when we leave our family nest and are mature enough to um, build our own okay so making those choices from the heart this also means allowing your instincts your innate knowing to guide you in whatever decisions you're making in your life and also it assures you that you have the maturity you are mature enough to always make the best choice, okay? 
So how to best release the need to control is to trust yourself that when you make choices from the place of love, they will always be the right choices. Okay? Um, and to put um, that initiative into making the right choices, that's what the masculine energy... It doesn't mean that feminine er energy doesn't put initiative, but in this case, it's about initiating those decisions. And now I said you have the maturity, but you also have the clarity needed at all times because there's a new beginning your horizons widened you see uh above the clouds so there's no fogginess no illusion you see clearly you know exactly what to do where to go what you desire you visualize i know the future your reality the way you want it to be so you have the discernment you have uh, the clarity to always make the right choices. You cut through illusions. So not only you trust yourself, you make choices from the place of love and the deep inner maturity, but your mind space, your intellect, and even the higher mind uh, are clear and supporting you in making the right choices. So last but not least, when it comes to how you can best release that need to control or any kind of stress or anxiety, is about moving to the calm waters. Six of Swords is about moving to the calm waters. And you have both swords representing the mind and water representing emotions. Going into a place of balance between your head and your heart, your emotions, your soul as well. That's where you are in peace and harmony in a place where you always make the best choices. Okay, When your mind and heart are in alignment. And it's possible. It's possible to make the right choices uh, in your life, in alignment with both mind and heart. We never have to choose one of them. And it's intuitive how to do it. So your intuition, that innate sense that I said you have, will always help you balance those two out. Okay? And I said release anxieties or worries because I saw that you have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck and this is losing sleep, worrying about something. A little similar to this card, but there's definitely a lot more peace in this. This is a lot more toxic and worried, right? There's nothing to worry about because clearly everything is okay. You're really motivated. You know what you want. I really like this as the overall energy for you. But you need to trust yourself that you are able to make the right choices. Um, and that you will that you are on the right path and allow yourself to be a little more in the flow rather than trying to control every single step and piece uh, of whatever you're working on okay allow the universe to join you in whatever you're creating if you don't invite universe and will just try to do everything on your own it will not invite itself okay um so i hope that you enjoyed i'll leave it there i hope you enjoyed and i hope you find uh, those messages inspiring if you do Leave that like, comment, subscribe. I really love doing those readings for you and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.